cheese, more cheese, food. I don't own a pair. Oh. Oh. It is April 18th. That right there, familiar face on the channel. Nate. What's up guys? He's a shooter first on this trip. And then we also have- what? I'm just kidding. The man himself. Hey guys, Steve here. Welcome to the video. <laughs> Steve Huss. So it's three of us. We planned this trip way back during late season deer, whitetail deer hunt, and I was like, dude, we should take our bikes and we should go on a bike packing turkey hunt. And fast forward a couple months, here we are, that day is here, so we got our bikes more or less loaded up. We got all the gear we need in our backpacks. Gonna load up, bomb down the road, and hopefully we can strike up some gobblers. We're gonna be out here for 60-ish hours, so. How many people do you know that backpack in with New York strips. It's called bike packing. Yeah, this is bike packing. All right. We're gonna call it bike steaks, packing. I got steaks and I got and I got bear sausage. We're gonna cook over the fire. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, you guys saw I I jammed a bunch of food in my backpack because with the turkey hunt, you don't really worry about packing out super heavy meats. So we're gonna eat good. We're gonna have a good time. Turkeys haven't been gobbling on our road in a ride in, but I guess we'll save it for our bikes. So that being said, let's load up and hit the trail. Now we're flying. Biking in. First turkey sign of the trip right here. Pretty small, might be a little hen or Jake, but headed off in that way. So we know there's turkeys here. Just gotta keep riding. <sighs> He's coming in. He's coming in. We've got five birds gobbling all around us. We just got to the knob where we're gonna camp. Turkeys are gobbling everywhere. There's a gobbler coming in from behind us. We're not, we're not even gonna set up camp. We're just gonna drop off our camp, head back town to where we parked the bikes and uh, call this bird back in. Yeah, let's set up first. He, he's coming in on the string. This bird's gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll walk back down there. Yeah, we drop down over here. He might walk right past our bikes. Okay, so Nate, you're, yeah, you're, you're shooter first. Steve, you're, you're shooter second. I'll, I'll shoot last if it for some reason comes down to me. If he's gonna play the decoy, let him turn around if he's strutting. And draw your bow when he's facing the way. Okay. Yeah, I can range for you. Okay, let's do this. You wanna bring this GoPro? I think we set up here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the decoy on the road. I think you can tuck yourself in right there. Yeah, just, just drop it. Just remember, he's coming in. Just if he's 
coming in. Don't even move. Yeah. Let him work the decoy. I can't see anything but the decoy. Yep. Yep. Just do your thing.
Go ring him. Go ring him. Go ring him. <laughs> what? He's dead, dude. No blind public land archery turkey hunt accomplished. We haven't even set up camp. That's a gorgeous bird, Nate. That's a gorgeous bird. You were so skeptical about this spot. I told you we were going to come in here. We were going to shoot one today. I am absolutely speechless. Great shot, brother. Great shot. He walked right past all our bikes. Unbelievable. Un I told you we were going to draw Let's first go, blood on your bow. That's awesome. We were gonna draw first blood. Oh my goodness sakes. We still have four other turkeys gobbling what a, too. What a hunt. Holy moly, dude. Dude, that, hunt, dude. that two and a half inch blade was doing work. Yeah, it dropped. He, I will be honest. I've never seen a turkey drop like that yeah. with a gun. So dude, I will be honest. That, it's that was the crazy. the shot I got on camera because that branch was in my way and this was in the way. Dude, it doesn't but matter. I got it in slow motion. It doesn't matter, I'm dude. Gonna, I'm gonna go up and grab my camera real yeah. quick. Okay. Go for it. You watch this. Oh my goodness sakes. You Holy grilled them. That ripped. Look at this, Steve. <laughs> By the way, well, Nate is uh, Nate is shooting turkeys with an elk setup. It's a 550 grain arrow at 72 pounds, I think. Yeah, uh, 70 pounds, 550 grain, about about 275 feet a second. Dude, he was spitting way back there. That was cool. That was, that was he came in on a string. Yeah, that's a gorgeous. That's a beautiful bird. Okay, I'm, I'll be right back. All right. Well, last year, um, all three of us, Nate, Steve, and myself, we went out. We were trying to get Nate on an archery bird. We just never got in a setup where uh, uh, Nate could get a clean shot. So last year, Steve shot one. I shot my two, obviously, last year. And so this year, I told Nate and Steve, I was like, since we didn't get Nate on a bird last year, he's the first one to shoot. And he wanted to do it with an archery, archery setup. Mission accomplished. We haven't. We've been in here for like 30 minutes and we got one bird down. I haven't even looked at my footage, but I know I got him because I saw the decoy in my frame. I got him. I'll be right back. Go for it, dude. Oh, and I want to see this guy's spurs. He's a, he's a young bird for sure, but he's a tom nonetheless. Super white feathers on him. This is gorgeous. Our hunt is just getting started. We still have two more days in here. We still have the rest of the day too. It's like, what is it, noon? Is it noon or is it like one o'clock? I think. What time is it? It is now one thirty. One thirty? Yeah. yeah. Mid midday gobbler. Right so we hiked up to the top of this ridge. That's where we're gonna set up camp. We got up there and turkeys over here, this way, way back this way, and way back this way. So I was like, all right, let's not set up camp first. Let's drop down this ridge. We set up just right up here. Through the turkey, right, the decoy right here, and. He basically backtracked how we came in with our bikes, walked right up the road, and Nate put a perfect heart shot at 20 yards. Textbook turkey hunt right there. I am notching turkey one. 2022. So, normally, I'm a little bit more weight conscious on what I bring in for the backcountry, but because this was just a turkey hunt and we're biking in, I wasn't too concerned about weight, so they got a lot of stuff. I brought a full size frying pan, got bell peppers. Now that we have a turkey down, we can uh, have turkey fajitas. You guys already know that. Tortillas. And then these were backup in case we didn't shoot anything. Gatorade. Bunch of sausage burritos from the store. Fajitas. Sausage. More cheese. Clothes. Makes me want to faint. My uh. I just blew mine out. Super big puppy mm -hmm. jacket. And then a sleeping bag. And then my sleeping pad. And I got my licenses in this 
zippered pouch right here, and then I've got candy down in this other pouch here. And that's pretty much it. So, dude, I nailed. That we're just gonna oh, yeah, uh, set up our tent There's and no then eat that. and then head out. Definition of nailed it. Ooh, what are the spells he gave you? All right, 2:42 p.m. Got camp loaded up. We just fueled up. Got the uh, turkey. We actually processed the turkey. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on before we head out because we might get back here when it's dark. But we did process the bird because we're gonna be out here for two two days. So that's the breast meat and the thighs right there uh, in the game bag to let it cool out. It's not warm out, but just mainly want it to be safe from flies. And then we do have the carcass just hanging up on the tree right now because uh, even though you're legally tagged. There are some regulations regarding what you're supposed to keep of the turkey, so we're just keeping the carcass as well. That way we don't get into any trouble. I don't know how well you guys can see, but all these lines right here, these are just strut marks from a turkey strutting around when their wing is just rubbing here. It's just all over this road right here. It's just all over this road right here, so we know there's a lot of turkey. Facing the other way? No, yes, can tell, but out that way, maybe a thousand yards, there's actually a moose in there. And then his head's on the other side. It's always fun to see wild life coming out here. Wait for it. He's looking right at us. Is that really a moose? Yeah. 100%. How many yards do you think? A thousand? More? Am I looking at the right thing? Yeah. It's wider. Just that big, that, that big black wider on the left side. That little big back blob right there? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, that's a big old head. I didn't realize the head was so... No way. Really? I heard a crow. Before the crow? Mm -hmm. Where? It looks like it's moving. See that? Well, we've been hiking up the mountain. I think we came a little too high. We're in snow now. So we're just gonna loop back onto the road we're camped on and just hike down the ridge. I think most of the gobblers are down low where we camped anyways. But we just wanted to hunt over here just to make sure that there are no turkeys over here. Because ultimately what we're doing is we're just covering ground, crossing off where turkey are or are not, and then a marking where turkey are. That way we can have a better focus for tomorrow and the following day.
hurt this lady that has no blood. We were walking down and Nate's, Nate just tells everybody to stop and he spots a turkey. He wasn't sure if it was a gobbler or a hen. And so there's literally no cover here. There's, you can't go up. You, if we go up, she was gonna see us. So our only option was down the ditch. <laughs> so I was like, just get below the ditch. So we kind of hunker down and this lone hen just came up and she wasn't spooked bad and she just went up the ridge. We gave her a little bit of time to get out of here because I didn't want to spook, spook her like even more, so. You guys pinpoint that the gobble, or you guys just heard it? Steve, uh, where'd you hear it? That way. You know how this we hug. Yeah. That's a lot of veggies. And Saman's already killing. Saman's already cooking a turkey we shot today. So. I don't know if it's going to fit all of it. Oh, that onion smells good. Ooh, it's going to be... I guess I'll pour it out here. Never done the cheesy uh, fajita before. That looks good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's all that black stuff on it. Car, little carbon never hit, hurt nobody. Weird. Fajitas with the twist. Just decided to throw some cheese on there. I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's gonna taste. Verdict? <clears throat> really good. Yeah. Okay. Good really to know. Good. good to know. The verdict's verdict's passed. So you guys Thank good friends for the company. Thank the good Lord for providing. Come on. A plus, dude. Mm. Really good. So cheesy. <laughs> yeah. I threw all two packs in there. Mm -hmm. You throw both packs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap. One didn't look like it was enough. While we were chilling by the fire, we were just turning off the cameras. I'm naked. Steve's naked, but we're talking about turkeys. So <laughs> let me turn, turn this off. <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. I make sure they can't see you. Okay. So anyway, we Nate called it earlier. Nate was like, "Dude, I think the turkeys are gonna oh. roost on this ridge," and Nate was right because the ridge that we're we're sleeping on right now, we had a flock of turkeys work up from the bottom of the road, and they literally roosted like, what'd you say, forty yards? Yeah. Like so. like forty yards from where our tent was. And we're like, what the heck? This is way too close. So we went down there and we spooked them and they flew back across the road and they they're ro they roosted just across the road. And I don't think they spooked bad enough to the point where like they knew what we were. They just saw something wasn't right. So they just uh, started going back that way. So I think we're gonna leave them for the morning. But for now, we're gonna get some shut eye. I'll see you guys tomorrow.